Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us to Sri Lanka, a small Asian country off the southern coast of India. Scenic wonders abound here for me to capture on my smartphone, from its elephant safari parks and wild monkeys to its famous World Heritage archaeological site, Sigiriya. But Sri Lanka is also a land of 22 million hardworking people, firmly dedicated to work, family, and their religious beliefs. Where the Food staple is rice, grown in patties like this one, and the number one export is clothing. But a disruptive change is happening in the clothing industry. And that change, though, is a benefit to our environment, as you're about to see. Clothing and fashion are big business in Sri Lanka, where the industry employs more than a half million people. In fact, global sales of apparel and footwear are expected to reach $3 trillion by 2030. And yet about three-fifths of all clothes end up in a landfill within a year of being made. That amounts to more than $500 billion worth of wasted clothing. But thankfully, our environment is becoming ever more important to clothing manufacturers, especially in countries like Sri Lanka. Now, some clothing manufacturers, like Incube in Sri Lanka are working to make their processes more sustainable. They're working for a future of using much less water, creating less waste, and really designing greener factories like this one that are designed to fit in to the environment around it. Incube is a young company with big dreams. We believe clothing as an industry has been slow and is up for disruption. And so for the philosophy for us is that a we think there's a lot more value we can give the consumer. And B, we think there are, by giving that value in a more thought out way, we can make the planet a more sustainable place to live. Incube hopes to change the perception of clothing as a basic means to cover our bodies and look fashionable to clothing that can actually increase human potential for a better and more sustainable life. It aims to create clothing solutions with far less impact on the environment by fusing future technology with ingenious design. I think there's enough technology out there within the next decade and a half to reduce or, or to repeat what we do today with almost 10 to 15 percent of the impact. Now this is a big dream, I understand, but the technology is out there. It requires us to think design differently, but it's possible. If the clothing can be adaptable and keep changing with our needs from you know, one next year to another, I think that will be the future of clothing. InCube designers are committed to bringing next-generation clothing solutions to life. The company represents a joint venture with Brandex Group, a billion-dollar apparel manufacturing group headquartered here. And as you may guess, InCube works with some of the world's most high-visibility brands. It's really important for us to understand uh, the commitments that the brands are making towards sustainability and align all of our efforts in sustainability to the progress that they're making. Like one brand is using longevity and extending the lifetime of product, maybe another brand would give the intention as converting all of the material bases into recyclable materials. That's how we align our efforts to brands' goals so that the actual value of sustainability is realized in the hands of the ultimate consumer. From the use of renewable resources to designing for longevity and using technology to create products that do more with less. InCube's next generation clothing is designed to help millions of people live better lives. Manufactured by Sri Lankans who show as much reverence to factory work life as they do to their own family and religion. We have about 2,500 people and uh, it's a family here. The setting is such that okay, we start the day with religion. Our people come, worship with Buddha. They start the day and it's a family feeling. When they start a new product, new program, it's, it's how they start off. Because that's the level of reverence and worship that they give, even for the work that they do. 
This work ethic has resulted in the innovative transition of clothes from being fast fashion or basic attire to clothes that serve a useful purpose and can actually improve your health. It's an outfit that is designed to provide adaptive thermal comfort. And what that means is that it's designed to keep you warm when it's cold and keep you cool when it's warm. Not only does it fit, it gives you support, but beyond that, we could actually knit sensors into this that can actually take your vitals 24 hours of the day, right? ensure whether you have a medical condition or whether you're coming into a condition. Make it smarter, make it work for you, and solve the climatic problems, the medical problems, the health, whatever you want it to be. As founder and managing director of InCube, Dylan Gunratne hopes the sustainable path-breaking approach to our clothing will be the catalyst needed to disrupt the entire apparel industry. We should be using clothing as a platform to solve bigger problems for the consumer, become bigger utilities, something that they want to keep and pass on to the next generation. So people, planet, these are the two driving forces and the considerations that we have when creating product. It's all about building value through clothes that are both fashionable and functional. Call it wearable wellness. Clothes made for the health of our body and the health of our planet. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.